let's send our fox at PDF into a SharePoint site. I have created this, uh, this particular file on my local machine and I'm ready to make it available for others to review. I'm going to go to the File tab or ribbon here and from here where do you want to save it? We're going to save it as and we're going to add a place. And notice we are given a wide variety of options. We're going to select SharePoint. And it wants us to add a location for our SharePoint. Now I'm just going to pause temporarily until I fill this in, but I am going to show you the display name. I'll be right. Now it's gone off and wants me to log in. Again, I'm going to add in my 365 credentials here. I'm going to pause until I have those in. So I've been validated and I'm not going to stay signed in. And notice on the Fox at Share site, which is under my SharePoint, I have these folders. I'm just going to go right into Shared Documents and I'm going to put this in that location. Now the document will be saved and do I want to add a value for the title? I think I'm going to just leave that. Now it's going to take a moment and it's been saved. Would you like to open it? Let's say yes. And this is where we're going to open it from. And I've opened it from my SharePoint. I'm going to close my environment here. Not going to save it. Now when I want to open a file, I should be able to find the file, including if I type in the path to my SharePoint environment. I'm going to pause while I do that. So I've typed in the location and it's going to go off and it's going to attempt to find this location and I open Shared Documents and there it is in my SharePoint environment. And that's how easy it is. I've also created a Fox at Share here which is my SharePoint and that's how it's done. If you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe